Well, I'm going to talk about the strategic issues in crisis management. The problem with crisis management is that like everybody is doing something else and you have like many um, like, tips and recipes, do this in a crisis, do that in a crisis. And what I'm trying to do is to systemize crisis communication. The point is every crisis is different, no questions, but there are similarities, there are patterns and knowing them you can perfectly use the appropriate strategy in order to make most, like the most effective communication in a crisis. And that's what I'm going to talk about. It's not the opposite of global. The point is you're making is nevertheless is right. Like you have different strategies with internal communications than you have with external communications. And the second point, crises are getting more and more global. We were talking about this yesterday that it's, it's not a nation issue anymore because like corporations or big organizations are going beyond the boundaries of nation, of nationalities. And you have to take that into consideration when you do crisis management. Obviously. You're able to show that you can systemize crisis communication, that crisis communication for businesses is different than for like non-profit organizations and that with crisis communication you can achieve right, really, really good communication. And in fact, it is the, it is the largest study um, so far within the German-speaking world. And uh, I think the results are just two things. One thing is the understanding of crisis communication. Like many crisis strategies aim at just rhetorical response strategies, saying, OK, um, I apologize, or I say nothing, which can be a strategy as well. But I think that crisis communication must go beyond just rhetorical response strategies, which is integrity in crisis communication, meaning that you really have to work with crisis management together. And we were able to show that the better this integrity is, the better it works for your, for your long-term reputation. The third issue is um, you have to take into consideration like um, juridical and societal norms, which is the, the, the kind of strategic part, really. Um, because every company is seen as a social actor in society. And um, if it wants it or not, as a matter of fact, and you have to respond to that. And you can do that in a crisis communication uh, yeah, situation as well. So this is kind of the, the extension of just, just on a rhetorical level. You also have the kind of a integrated level and a strategic level. That is the one point. The second point is, for example, what we did in that study is um, we developed a matrix which tries to classify a crisis situation in, in two ways. One is in a kind of qualitative dimension and the other one is a quantitative dimension. Quantitative is about the attributed crisis re responsibility, meaning what does the audience think who is responsible for the crisis? You have three possibilities. One is they don't think you are responsible. Then they think you are sort of, I like the, the management did errors but didn't want to do it, so that kind of responsible. And the third possibility is um, they, that the management did wrong and they are responsible. So this is kind of the quantitative level. And the second dimension, as I said, is the, the, the qualitative dimension. And we took the reputation, reputation dimensions. And you have a kind of functional reputation, like as a bank you have to earn money. But you have, as I said, a social dimension as well of reputation and the emotional assets, like um, you feel sympathy for a, for a company or not. If you bring these two together, you have a like three by three matrix. And what we were able to show that in, in different fields of the matrix, some strategies work better and some don't. And like if you take it the other way around, like for us as communication experts now, we can say, OK, matrix is like being before, in or after a crisis. I mean, fair enough, I'm in a crisis. Thank you. That doesn't help me for choosing strategies. But if you say, I, I know I'm in a, in a social crisis, which is an inevitable crisis, so people think I am, I'm guilty, I'm, I'm responsible for the crisis. And if I know now that a certain set of strategy works best within that field, I can use this set of strategies rather than anything else or just reading any book, well, this strategy works in any situation. In fact, they don't. And um, yeah, we were able to show that. And this gives you like systemization of crisis situations, although they are different, but 
it also gives you a tool on hand um, yeah, to, to, make, to, to choose the right strategy in a situation where you don't have any time to, to, to really think about. And I think giving you a tool on hand which, which gives you the opportunity to, to uh, reduce complexity uh, is very important in a crisis situation. And we were able to show that within the different fields a certain set of strategy works better than in others, which I think for like crisis management is fantastic. Communication is about the right strategy, it's about thinking. But as a matter of fact, still newspapers and television, um, that has also changed with respect to the, to the changes in the online world. And I think this is a bit missing in the discussion we're having. We're all talking about online and social media, but CNN, for example, they are taking on YouTube videos or, or, or citizen journalism and these kind of things within their like classical television media. And I think a lot of changes are going on there as well. And we should keep these media in mind because um, they still are the like, like mass media. And uh, I would say like Facebook at the moment still is kind of a, not maybe not minority media, but something in between. So yeah. What I really like is the set of people being here like having experts and thus having expert discussions. However, I think what would be fruitful is mixing this a bit more up, like having not only people from communication departments of, organ of, of companies, but also inviting non-profit organizations, the police, authorities, maybe even politicians, to, to mixing that up because I think, well, I'm from the Swiss Association for Crisis Communication. We have that mixture in our structure of the members which I find so fruitful. Like, nevertheless, having experts, but to have more exchange, like to, to um, uh, talking about communication and not just crisis communication, but communication in general. Um, yeah, to kind of broaden the discussions and broaden the mind of talking about communication. Yes.